Hello, Jesse Good here. Today we're reviewing the LEGO Cars 3 Juniors Majors Junkyard set, which has 62 pieces and retails for $10 in the United States. Now let's take a look at the build. So here's everything you get in the build. Let's take a look at Mater close up. So this is the Mater of the set, and this is actually the only Cars 3 set to have Mater in it. I guess they reacted to uh, Cars 2 and they were like, too much Mater, which I think a lot of us felt uh, where he got too big of a role. Either way, this is almost like the classic uh, Radiator Springs Mater from 2011, but there are some differences. For example, the biggest update is that there's a 2x4 plate on the side that says Tow Mater instead of the use of the 2x4 brick. Actually, let's compare the two, and you can see the differences. As with most LEGO Cars sets, the eyes for the characters are a little bit bigger on the Cars 3 Junior sets. I guess that's to make them more kid-friendly or more, I guess, uh, juniors-like. Also, the front mouth, you can see this is a new mouth print, which actually looks really cool because I was getting tired of this one, which I think they use for most, if not all, Maters from 2011. And of course, this does use the new Cars frame, which is on the bottom. You can see how that kind of comes out, and that gives it a more chunky look, a more kind of thick look. And I actually like that better than the older one because the older one looked a little bit too bare bones for Mater. It actually gives some details, for example, there's some handlebars inside that just kind of add to the wheel details. And on the back, you can see one of the biggest difference is the actual crane this time, because this time it's more of a brick built uh, design, while the original one used this nice kind of towing piece right here. Both of them do have the hook at the end, uh, which you can move around and play around with. And also the one by four at the back is actually more defined on this new version, where you can see the A113 isn't scratched out at all while the original one had lots of little scratches and the hooks on the back were a little bit smaller. And one last part is the little side view mirrors, which the original one used these little claw pieces to kind of illustrate that, um, while the newer one uses these little skeleton feet pieces, which look a little bit weird with the one by two uh, jumper pieces. Other than that, um, there's not too much different. I mean, the light changed right there, and the new one does use this uh, jumper-style circular plate. Uh, but that's really it between the two. So now let's go on to the actual build itself. So back to the rest of the build. Um, for the starters, we have this little crane right here, which can be swiveled around. It's a pretty simple build. It's actually like the one from Smokey's Garage, but done better because they give you junk to actually like move around with it. Not just this one little iPhone screen, which I actually like this piece. I think this is an awesome printed two by three tile where it's kind of like an iPhone, but uh, it shows Lightning McQueen as like the FaceTime caller right there. So that's pretty neat. And again, that's a print because it is a junior set. And you could just hook a lot of stuff onto that little part right there and move it around and position the crane as you'd like because it is on these little hinge pieces. So you can move it up and down and it has two little joints right there and then one final one for this hook right here in this brown color and another cool part about this little build is the use of this fence piece in dark brown which is pretty hard to find i mean i think it was only in one other friend's set and that was the only other set that i was ever in so that's pretty nice as well then they give you some other junk to kind of move around uh this seems to be a part of a car or something and it makes sense because you know this is kind of like a junkyard so you want to move stuff in and probably dump it into the crate right there so you can hook that on as you'd like because it has this little part up here and they also have this part of a car right here which you can kind of hook up because it has a little bit of a hole at front and you can move that around as you want now the rest of the build is this little tow mater uh, sign right here which is a printed piece it's a nice panel and then you also have the crate where all the junk is kind of held. So you can maybe make it a game to drop the junk into the crate. I wish there would have included another one of those dark brown fences right here instead of this black fence, but it's okay. And other than that, the final part is this little kind of, I guess, uh, switch that you would use to move around everything or illustrate everything being moved around. But you could also hook it on to the little uh, hook right there and move it around as you want on the crane. So that is it for the build. Let's go on to the box and the final verdict. So here is the box itself. It's that $10 box size, and the back shows some of the little play features. And the side right here just shows Mater kind of chipper. And the instructions don't show anything too interesting. We got that same advertisement showing off the other seven sets, or sorry, the other six sets. And of course, not showing the Mac truck set, which I still wanna see. So overall, Mater's Junkyard, I think will be a very popular set since it's the only set that comes with Mater. And even though Mater was very prominent in the 2011 line and it was easy to get, 
it's harder to get since those 2011 and 2012 sets are off the shelves. Other than that, there's some really cool parts that are printed. I like that two by three tile. I like that panel up there. And also that brown fence is a nice inclusion. But for adults, I feel a lot of them won't buy it because they don't have much of a use for that or that right there. And the only part would really be the brown fence if they don't like the cars themselves. Now, if you are a Pixar fan, you're gonna want to get this if you miss the 2011 line because Mater is such a prominent character. So all that considered, from an adult's perspective, I would rate this a C plus. I don't think there's much going for it. Uh, for us AFOLs, but uh, me personally, since I am a fan of LEGO cars, I like it. But I think it is a great set for kids because there's lots of little stuff to play around with. And I think they did a better crane than the one in Smokey's Garage. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.